So you have a Filipina is actually going to explain to these modern women why password bros are actually going over at least to her country. Let's view it. So a lot of American women are hating on passport bros, but as someone who grew up in the Philippines where a lot of these passport bros go to to find wives, let me offer a new perspective. Background, I moved here when I was 14 with my family, so I wasn't moved here by a passport bro. But I did see a lot of it growing up, and here's my take. The men who become passport bros, they have a certain range of income that if they want the same caliber of woman, like, okay, just stay with me if they want a woman who dolls herself up is soft feminine cooks cleans takes care of a man literally worships the ground a man walks on he will find that in places where women have much lower incomes okay let's talk about that you know let's be real about it she's right in one instance that in order to get those type of women that most and i would say a lot of men i won't say all but a lot of men want you know, most men, you know, and the, if they could have a, a, a woman, they of course want the most attractive woman that they can get. Right. But those women in the United States, you got to have a lot of money. And what comes along with that is a lot of entitlement, a lot of entitlement because of this society. Um, if you get one of them pregnant, then they could, you know, get your pockets. Let me say it like that. I want to use another word but I forgot we on YouTube, they can get your pockets and then they could bounce from dude to dude, to dude, to dude, to dude, you know, in the United States. Now it shouldn't have to cost a man a six, seven and eight figure salary to get a certain kind of woman. Now, any person who knows anything about investments, you maximize your money in investments. You don't gonna throw your money into something and it doesn't get you much of a return. But if you could take something, you can get more of a return when you would do that. So for a lot of these men, let's say what well, she's talking about, the, the look of a woman, you gotta understand in America, he couldn't get a certain type of woman, but he goes over at least let's say to this woman's country where $3,000 a month is, is some real kind of money. Well then now he can get those kind of women that he always wanted. So really it's a win win for him. And as long as he stay over there, he going to keep that kind of woman and he's going to have a better place to stay. He going to live a luxury lifestyle. It's just a win win for, for the average man and the average man should get a good life too. Why only the guy that's making a million dollars, $2 million, $10 million, a hundred million dollars a year should enjoy his life. If a regular average man, $42,000 a year, average man can go live the life of a man that makes six, seven and eight figures in the United States elsewhere. It's a win win. And I support a man doing that. Well, let's continue. Are more satisfied with lower levels of provision. And because the American dollar is so strong, your money just goes so much farther. So you literally live like a king. Okay. So she also mentioned about lower levels of provision. Is because that society in the way it is, and even what I've been hearing, like a consensus of a lot of um, the ladies that's been speaking, at least from the Philippines, is been saying, look, we just want somebody that's going to treat us right, you know, at least provide a roof over our head, you know, some food on the table, you know, uh, clothes on our back. Man, we content with that. We cool with that. We don't got to have all that extra crap. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to clean our house. We want to do things for our families. That's what we want. Now listen, crazy that what I'm about to say, that used to be the mantra even in America. And you still have some cultures who still think like that and talk like that. For instance, people who is Islamic, a lot of them, they still think like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, if they have, if it's now some of them are modernized, but the ones that just come over here, I would say of the Hispanic cultures, no matter what they come from, where they come from DR, Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, Ecuador, whatever the, you know, the Latin American culture that still kind of practice as well, uh, in those cultures, if they stay to it. Now, if they come first, second, third generation, then they become modernized and they start sounding like the rest of them. Right or, you know, just different Arab cultures or whatever. But we come to our culture, definitely in black America. And I know white guys talk about the same thing, right? 
that mindset is just about non-existent. And if you do find that mindset, you may find it in the South and that's becoming far and few in between too, according to what men have been saying about even Southern women now, because Southern women used to be okay. All that other stuff, that modernized stuff, let's go get your woman in the South. You know what I'm saying? Go get you a, a country girl or whatever. But even some of them country girls are acting modern now. So this is why these men are saying, you know what? Let me get my passport because see what y'all, you, you, you modern women don't understand. Men are men. Men require certain things. And if you will not do what men are requiring of you, which is be feminine, take care of yourself, be submissive, be a good mom, be a, a great wife, know how to cook a meal. Just sim the simple things like that, just that simple. And if you don't want to do that, these men are going to go find that elsewhere. That's what you don't understand. It, it's not that hard to figure out. And then instead of the ones who are upset about it, it's because you haven't self-reflected and with self-reflection brings accountability all you do is either call names to the other women overseas. You call names so much that in, in uh, uh, Thailand, they had featured a lot of y'all on the news, but, uh, trashing them. So now y'all making a bad name for yourself, talking about the, the women of other countries. These other countries are not going to put up with you trashing them. And then when you show up to these countries, you're going to be getting the side eye or you could be getting bad treatment because of your mouth. You want to start a whole international beef with women that you don't even know. Instead of saying, you know what? It's our fault. These men are leaving. They, why are they leaving a country with millions of women here in America to go 20 plus hours on a plane in some instances to go get a wife somewhere else. That's a failure on the modern women of America. Stop getting mad at password bros. That's y'all the one failed. Y'all caused that. And then the way y'all acted after Kevin Samuels died, y'all, y'all really pushed it. So y'all pushed, y'all really got the password bro movement going in, like an overdrive. Y'all did it after Kevin Samuels died. Then now you got the women of other countries speaking up constantly now because y'all sat up there and did the same thing. Y'all don't know when to quit. You don't know when to take you, when you know you're taking an L, take your L and learn from it and just fix it. That's it. See, men, we understand when we be messing up. We understand. We say, you know what, dog, man, I'm messing up. You know what, man, I need to change what I'm doing. I'm not going to be doing this. See, that's what men do. Even how password bros even got going. Men self-reflected and say, you know what, these women, I'm not going to get nowhere with them. So you know what? Instead of complaining on them all day, instead of saying Pookie and Ray Ray and all this, other, no, I'm just going to just move my feet and get out. I'm not going to keep complaining all day. But men take accountability. Modern women don't. But let me know what y'all think with, you know, this lady here is saying about, you know, just what the deal is. Just because a man it was, is making average, he wants a nice looking woman too. And he want a woman to treat him right. Our grandfathers had that. Our great grandfathers had that. And if a black man or whoever man got to leave America to go get it, go get it.